Good morning. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you from here in Tallahassee, Florida, here at my job at Astro Travels and Tours. Uh, this is Michelangelo, your host for today. We're going to talk about the Hall of Fame uh, ceremony. Um, was our inductees were uh, uh, Coach Jimmy Johnson, um, Cliff Harris from the Doomsday Defense, and Mr. Clutch, the Hail Mary wide receiver. Drew Pearson was inducted into the Football Hall of Fame uh, Saturday and Sunday. He had two ceremonies. It was fantastic. It was unbelievable. It was amazing. And our legendary 88, uh, Michael Irvin, uh, he was um, cheering on for the Dallas Cowboy fan base and, and the fans and everything for all the great legendary Cowboys that's uh, going in. And he was cheering for other ones who need to be put in. Uh, I would like to say this, that uh, I really do believe that it's past time that some of, of our other greats will go in, like uh, uh, Charlie Waters, uh, Ed Tutal Jones, Harvey Martin, Robert Newhouse. Th those four right there need to be put in the Hall of Fame. But Drew Pearson, our great legendary wide receiver, went in this past weekend. It was a fantastic and wonderful celebration. It was... Um, it, I, I recorded it my, at home, I recorded it, but it was a great, great ceremony. And I was looking at one other YouTuber this morning, uh, Joe Boo Sports. He was there at the uh, Hall of Fame celebrations, getting information and uh, recording and everything and stuff, and meeting all of the great legendary players like Bob Lilly, uh, Tony Dorsett, Drew Pearson, and even got a picture with uh, Drew Pearson and everything. Uh, and then Drew Pearson had a... Uh, a Hall of Fame party. His family threw a Hall of Fame party after the celebration, and uh, and he was filming. He was showing all of the great legendary players like uh, Rayfield Wright, uh, Cliff Harris, Roger Staubach, Tony Dorsett, Timmy Newsom, and uh, the great uh, Ed Tutal Jones was there, and he commented and everything. And they all was uh, speaking about how great uh, a, a player off the field and on the field Drew Pearson was, which he was phenomenal, great blocker, uh, great uh, student of the game. And when other rookies came in the league, he would take them upon his wings and help them learn the plays and everything. And the same thing that he did for them, the other great legendary players done for him. And so that's what football was back, back then for the Dallas Cowboys. Is the, our franchise is one of the greatest franchises to ever been assembled with our great legendary coach, uh, Tom Landry, bless his soul, great man, make great man of God, uh, Dignity Church. He built a dynasty in Texas. Um, the first, uh, back in the day in, the, in, this, uh, in 1960, his first uh, draft was Bob Lilly from uh, Texas Christian, uh, Mr. Cowboy. And uh, he's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He was almost unblockable when he played. He was that fantastic. It was amazing. And so, and from that, that was the building blocks to build to greatness. And, and by 1966, uh, the fan base realized that they saw something that was great, that this, 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 this franchise started from nothing to being something special and amazing and awesome. And to this day, that star represents greatness. And through that time, and, and from the 60s into the 70s, when Dallas decided to uh, pick this wide receiver, uh, qu I mean quarterback at Tulsa, and turn him into wide receiver uh, as a, a free agent walk-on for the Dallas Cowboys. And Cliff Harris, uh, he come from a Baptist Christian uh, school. I can't think of the name of it right now. It's somewhere in Arkansas. And, uh, and back then, uh, they, they would have all the rookies come in and everything and, and play against and compete against each other over hunting some rookies, and then they would they would win on the number down to maybe less than 50 in the 20s, and they would keep um, to, the, to the point where it would be not that many rookies, and they would try to make the team, and, and Drew Pearson was one of the ones that made the team. And so by the time uh, Dallas had played in their first Super Bowl against Baltimore, the great Bob Lilly told Cliff Harris, told him, rookie, don't mess this up. He didn't mess it up. That, and, and at that time, Dallas ended up uh, losing to Baltimore in Super Bowl Super Bowl six, by like Super Bowl, uh, um, not Super Bowl five. They lost Super Bowl five. Then they in Super Bowl six they uh, they beat 
the, the my, mighty Miami Dolphins 24 to 3 down in Tulane Stadium. And, and that's when Tom Landry, legendary coach, got his first uh, world championship victory after losing the Super Bowl the year before. And, um, and then by 1973 74 season, Dallas had uh, drafted uh, Drew Pearson as a free agent walk on. And, um, and by 1975, we saw how great of a player he was against Minnesota in the uh, divisional playoff uh, game at, at the mighty uh, Minnesota Vikings uh, stadium there against the Purple People Eaters. R Roger um, the, the, uh, threw the Hail Mary pass, but two plays before that, it was fourth down about 18, and, uh, and, uh, and Roger needed a first down. He threw, I think it was a 21-yard pickup by Drew Pearson, caught the ball and got knocked out of bounds. And then the very next play is when he caught the Hail Mary pass and an orange at the, um, uh, at, on the right side of the field in the end zone. And some of the fans of, um, of the uh, Minnesota Vikings felt that he pushed off, but you can see clearly that uh, back then they played tough, powerful defense back then. And so to get to where, they, where Dallas Cowboys have come, come from, they played in the, the, the mighty 70s where it was the great Pittsburgh Steelers, great franchise, powerful team, the mighty Minnesota Vikings, the powerful Washington Redskins, and we can't leave out the Los Angeles Rams. All those teams were so powerful, on any given day you can be beaten. There was, the teams were that powerful back then. And Drew Pearson was, was nominated as on the all 70s decades team, uh, first uh, a three-time Pro Bowler, uh, and it took them over that many years, over, um, I said, 38, 37 years, of near 40 years before they decide they're going to put him into the Hall of Fame, which it was way past due. Um, he's deserving of that award uh, and that uh, accolades and everything. Uh, not being biased because I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm just being truthful. Uh, when a person put out the, the great work and understanding of their profession and live up to the, off the field and on the field, however this uh, process, wherever they do, and he done that, he pro he's proven that he's a great football player and a great legend. He, uh, he stands uh, as a classic uh, uh, gentleman for the franchise, and, um, and he represents as a great individual and a great person. The great legendary Drew, uh, Roger Starback um, put, it, uh, put it like this, that he would never have been in the Hall of Fame if it wasn't for Drew Pearson. And you can say it for vice, vice versa. They both belong together. They're two great legends and two great people, great great Christian men and great men of God. And so I'm saying it like this, uh, as a Dallas Cowboy fan, this has been a fantastic year um, uh, so far, even though the seat, the, uh, we just finished with the Hall of Fame game and preseason games this Friday against Arizona Cardinals. But I'm saying this, the Dallas Cowboys, I really do believe this is gonna be a great year for a 17 game schedule. And I'm, now I'm speaking to the fan base. I really do believe as a, as a fan base, we need to um, stick with our team and be encouraged. I really do believe this year we can do something special. Um, I'm asking that um, our coaching staff keep teaching these young players to, to, to look at history and look at uh, what, this, what the stars represents. Learn your playbook. Uh, go out and give 110%. Work together as, as a team. And it's not about me, it's about us. And so as I'm speaking to the fan base now, the Do America's team fans. Uh, we have we have a, one of the best fan bases in America in the United States. Period. Great fans everywhere, all over the world. Um, I live here in Florida and everything, but fans everywhere. You be blessed. You be encouraged. And put God first in your lives. So love one another. Help one another. Be encouraged. And be thankful. And um, and say, so let's go, Cowboys, and let's win this. Let's win this NFC East, and let's get into the playoffs. And and so you can get a chance to get back to the Super Bowl. I know it's been 25 years. Um, I know uh, most of the haters out there like uh, Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp say I'm delusional, but that's okay. You've got to be positive, not negative. Let's go Dallas Cowboys. It's time for us to get back on top of the mountain. That's where we belong. And, that, and from this weekend, from having this great um, Hall of Fame game and everything, that shows that what Dallas represents and what it stands for.
This is America's team. I am Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you from Tallahassee, Florida. You be blessed and be encouraged and thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.